you put air in your vehicle's tires, a lot of that air, the majority of it anyway, is made up of nitrogen. But what would happen if you put all nitrogen into your tires? Race car drivers do it, and a lot of people say there are benefits. If you're hitting the road this summer, it's a good idea to make sure your vehicle's tires are road ready. Proper tire inflation is key to good tire safety, especially with our hot temperature. But some drivers believe there's another trick, inflating your tires with nitrogen. So it's going to change the, the way the car sits on the highway at certain speeds. Howard Fleshman owns Community Tire Pros, a valley business that offers nitrogen. We got into it many, many years ago, and, and like many, I thought it was a gimmick when it was first introduced to me. But Howard says it didn't take long to be convinced that nitrogen, in his opinion, is better than regular old air. Nitrogen will increase your gas mileage. Not significant, but over the life of a tire, probably it'll save you a tank. It'll increase your stopping. It'll increase your turning because it keeps that constant foot pressure and it will certainly give you longer mileage on the tire. Nitrogen is used in the airline industry as well as on race cars. Car tires are easily identified as containing nitrogen because green tips are usually put on the tip of the valves. But nitrogen generally isn't free. Howard and his stores charge $7 per tire for nitrogen, but he claims it's worth it. Your first line of defense for safety is your tires. However, some critics say nitrogen is nothing more than a waste of money. Howard acknowledges that regular air in your tires still works, but he says you need to check your tire pressure once a week as opposed to once a month for nitrogen. So it's a bigger molecule, doesn't dissipate to the sidewall. And if you're planning a drive up north to escape the heat, Howard says having nitrogen-filled tires will make a big difference. Anybody that's in Phoenix is going to head, start heading up north as soon as it gets really hot down here. We're going to go from 110 degrees to 70, and that tire pressure, a regular filled tire, is going to change one pound for every 10 degree change. Nitrogen won't do that. Now, if you're going to transition over from air and start using nitrogen, make sure you flush all of the air out of your tires before putting that nitrogen in. It's not necessarily a bad thing to mix the two, but if you're going to go nitrogen, go all the way. I'm Gary Harper, three on your side.